Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. We are your LA Phil Nas, LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m. And uh, follow us online almost every day. Let's start with the reading of the word. January 26, today is uh, Tuesday, 2021. Ephesians 4, 31, 32. Let all bitterness, anger, and wrath, shouting and slander be removed from you, along with all malice. and Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. Genesis 4, 4-7 And Abel also presented an offering. Some of the firstborn of his flock and their fat portions, the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. But he did not have regard for Cain and his offering. Cain was furious. And he looked despondent. And the Lord said to Cain, Why are you furious? And why do you look despondent? If you do what is right, won't you be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you. But you must rule over it. Let's talk about using anger for good. There are 1,189 chapters in the Bible. Anger shows up by chapter 4. Anger kicked in right after Adam and Eve were removed from the Eden. Their sons Cain and Abel offer a sacrifice to God. But God rejects Cain's and Cain's offering, Cain got angry. God warned Cain that he, if he didn't properly manage his anger, he was in serious danger. His anger pointed to something deep within him that needed to be dealt with. At that moment, Cain had a choice. Use his anger for good or evil. Anger is just a sign that something needs to be addressed. It can be used for good or evil. Well, Jesus got angry, remember? He stormed through the courtyard of the temple in Jerusalem, overturning, overturning tables. He was angry about how the religious leaders were abusing people. That was righteous anger. That's a kind of anger that's a force to confront injustice and defend the oppressed. You probably felt anger at injustice. Some, seeing a child being emotionally or physically abused, observing someone taking advantage of the poor, seeing these things makes you want to take action, right? Like Jesus, we should get angry when we see injustice. And when it's within our power to do something, we should act. That is truly righteous anger. Righteous anger is real, but it's rare. I've manhandled a few tables in my time, but I can say it was because I was standing up for the week. Hardly it was because I had unmet expectations or felt a threat to my security, connection, or control. Can you relate? The Apostle Paul said, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other as just, just, just as in Christ God forgave you. When we get angry at situations that threaten our security, connection, or control, it tends to lead to unrighteous anger and bitterness. And all the other negative responses Paul mentions 
in that verse. But anger can also be used as for good when we see it as a warning light that there is something we need to surrender to God. Whether it's security, connection, or control, God's love is the source. We'll only find those things in Him. So, when we get angry, if we'll control it and consult that anger, it's a chance to learn a little bit about the deeper parts of our emotions. It can actually lead us to understand ourselves better and remind us for our need for God and the security, connection, and control only He can give. Today, use those situations that make you angry as a chance to check in with your emotions and talk to God about them. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding us that we can make use of our anger that may result to good, that may result to evil. Lord, we choose to use our anger, our anger to result in whatever good it will produce. Thank you for being our good example, Lord God. Lord, we repent of our sins. We ask for your forgiveness. We are, sin we are sinners, Lord God. We believe that you died upon the cross for us. That you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of our sins. We accept you now as our Savior, our Lord, our God, our friend. Come into our hearts and set us free from, my, from our sin. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Happy Tuesday. Bye.